Hi, I'm Morgan. You're watching Missouri Valley Tech. Today I'll be modifying and modernizing this Kinesis Contoured Model 110 keyboard. The Kinesis is unique because of its split and sculpted keywells. These curved keywells are fantastic to type on. This board is from 1995 and uses a PS2 connector, so therefore it isn't really compatible with modern computers. The project today is to completely modernize this board, adding new switches, new circuit boards, and making it programmable. I'll be making this programmable using this, which is a Stapelberg controller. The Stapelberg controller replaces the internal electronics on the keyboard and makes it fully programmable using the QMK firmware. Part of the challenge is that the Stapelberg controller isn't actually compatible with my Kinesis Contoured. Being from 1995, this Contoured's internal design is significantly different from the newer model Advantage boards that the Stapelberg controller is designed to be used with. To complete this mod, I'll be using PCBs that I've harvested from an Advantage donor board. I'll also be adding tactile Otomu ice switches, and finally, I'll add RGB backlighting. So, time to get started on disassembly of the Contoured. So we'll need to go and desolder this. And what's tricky about this desoldering work is that there's not only pins for the switches, there's also pins for each of the diodes. So it's basically double the desoldering work. To get through this, I'll be using my desoldering iron. I picked this up on Amazon. It's about $15, $20. I'll have a link to it in the notes below. But this just plugs into the wall. It's actually got a integrated solder sucker on it. You just, ooh, ow, had a little bit of <laughs> solder in there. You just press it down, uh, you pop this over something that you need to desolder, you wait three or four seconds for it, pull the plunger, and the hole is desoldered there. So you can see, it's not perfect, but it does a decent job of getting the solder out. If nothing else, it's just as effective as using a standard soldering iron with a solder sucker. Uh, that'd be something like this and I've always found using these to be pretty tricky so using this iron for desoldering is simple it's easy so we'll get this process started here So both of the uh, key wells are now removed, all switches, all the, oof, all that mess of hot glue. So the next step is going to be to prep the key well circuit boards, and then I'm going to solder in diodes. So I've now got the diodes finished and soldered in place on both of the keywell PCBs. I also had to do a little bit of patching for damage that was done when these PCBs were extracted. But it's now time to install some switches and get them soldered onto the circuit boards.
So with that, the first part of this build is complete. We now have assembled key wells left and right with the OTMUI switches, and we've got our thumb clusters. So for the next step, I'll be prepping the Stapleberg controller. This is the Stapleberg controller. This will connect to and control all the PCBs in the keyboard. The Stapleberg uses a teensy microcontroller as the actual brains. It's then got headers that connect to the key wells, thumb cluster, and F keys. So I'll get this prepped. With the Stapleberg controller prepped, the next step is to prep the RGB light strips. There will be six strips inside this board with a total of 40 LEDs. So the RGB strips have been installed on the bottom part of the case. On the top part of the case earlier today I did some prep by installing some sound dampening. And now it's time for the end. Uh, I'm going to get the key wells and thumb clusters installed. Then we'll get this top piece installed on the bottom piece. And we'll see if it all works. Okay, so assembly of the Kinesis Contour is complete. The RGB is working, all of the boards are installed, uh, the board is assembled and put together. So last step here is going to be to install keycaps, and that'll be it. The Kinesis is now complete. The RGBs look great, and the shine through is even better than I'd hoped for. This build has been a long time coming. I've been dreaming of having a Kinesis for ages. I've been acquiring parts for this build for over a year, so I'm wonderfully pleased to see it finally come to fruition. Down below I've got links to more info about this build on my blog, as well as links to my copy of the firmware and key map on GitHub. Thanks for watching this video. Please leave me a comment below with what you think, and for more from me, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel.